Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So on the channel, we've been talking about the end of Windows 10. And according to Microsoft, the end of Windows 10 and support for the OS will take place next year in October 2025. And in regards to the end of Windows 10 support, it seems now that Microsoft uh, is really wanting Windows 10 users to move on from Windows 10 to Windows 11. Because a couple of days ago, they have quietly updated their official support page where you can learn about uh, the end of support for older versions of Windows, such as Windows 7 and Windows 8.1, which, by the way, both um, for both those OSs, as you may well know, Microsoft ended support for 7 and 8.1 uh, last year in January 2023. And now we can see, um, according to the website's update, um, the new end of support page now features three different tabs. We get Windows 7, Windows 8.1, and Windows 10. And here we can see um, on the end of support page now, it reminds you um, in this section that after October 14, 2025, Microsoft will no longer provide security updates or technical support for Windows 10. Your PC will still work, but we recommend moving to Windows 11. So obviously, the closer we get to that date, which is starting to take place quite fast, time is really flying and Microsoft now desperate for Windows 10 users to move on to Windows 11, obviously. Now, um, on the page, it also features several links where you can learn about Windows 11 and its features. You can also compare uh, Windows 10 with Windows 11. You can find a, a shopping guide for a new laptop because obviously um, there are a lot of users with Windows 10 devices that do not support the system requirements um, of Windows 11, obviously. So obviously Microsoft wanting you to purchase a new laptop with Windows 11 on, so quite a lot of marketing taking place on this page. But nonetheless, moving on, you can also learn about transferring data uh, from Windows 10 to Windows 11, and you can also visit the Microsoft Store uh, to browse Windows 11 devices. Now, although Microsoft is wanting you to move on from Windows 10 to Windows 11, they also acknowledge something strange, which I think is a bit um, of a contradiction. In this paragraph, they say, if you plan to keep using Windows 10, sorry, your Windows 10 PC, we understand. Now, I find that interesting because although Microsoft knows that a lot of users, um, first of all, their devices can't be upgraded, and secondly, a lot of users want to stay on Windows 10 and don't want to move on to, um, from Windows 11. They understand. And although they say they understand, they are still uh, plugging the end of support date at the 14th of October next year, 2025. And I find that strange because uh, the last video I po posted on the market share for um, the Windows operating system versions, um, that Global Stats Server results indicated, uh, as far as I can remember, that Windows 10 was on 70% market share and Windows 11 was only on 26% market share. So I personally don't think that in the next year and a bit that we are going to get that sort of market share from Windows 11. And I personally, as I've mentioned on the channel, also um, don't think that Microsoft, although they have, have mentioned it and have announced it, I don't think that Microsoft will end support for Windows 10 um, in October 2025. It just doesn't make any marketing and financial sense with that many users still using Windows 10. But nonetheless, that's according to this um, website update now where Windows 10 is listed now. And obviously, yeah, at the bottom of the website, we've got frequently asked questions. And I'll leave this web page uh, um, down below in the description if you would like to get more information. And obviously, the only way after October 2025, according to Microsoft, that you can officially use Windows 10 and still receive security updates is that you have to um, subscribe to the extended security updates program, which is a paid subscription, which will take place over three years. And I'll leave a video in the end screen uh, regarding that if you would be interested. So there you have it. End of support for Windows 10 is now alongside Windows 8.1 and Windows 7. So Microsoft now really wanting you to move now from Windows 10 to Windows 11. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.